Welcome to this YouTube channel where traders are enlightened on how to analyze the Forex market proficiently. We are going to be looking at Forex institutional price imbalance and the rules surrounding these imbalances. You must understand that imbalance is an uneven movement of price between buyers and sellers. It is an unhealthy push of price from demand or supply zones. It is actually the lack of equilibrium in the markets. Imbalance is inefficiency between buyers and sellers, telling us that potentially there may be financial institutions involved in the aggressive movement of price. So it reveals the magnitude of demand or supply in the market. As a forex trader, you must understand that when there is insufficient trading balance in the market, the price often comes back to fill out those orders that were left. So imbalance in the market is actually an aggressive movement of price from demand zones or supply zones that creates inefficiency it creates lack of equilibrium in the market so let's look at the first image we're seeing here to explain imbalance you can see this is actually from a bearish market condition in a bearish market condition you mark out the imbalance by looking at the first candle week low to the third candle week high so you can see here we have a bearish market condition. In a bearish market condition, you mark out your imbalance by looking at the first candle weak low and then the third candle weak high. That is how you mark out the imbalance in a bearish market condition. When you look at this bearish market condition, this is the candle weak low, the first candle weak low, and then we have our third candle weak high. This is where we have what our imbalance price tapped into this supply zone and then we have this aggressive move to the downside now you can see we have our imbalance here the candle week low and then the candle week high you can also see here we have the candle week low here and then we have the candle week high here this is our first candle in this case this is the second candle and then this is the third candle so it is the candle week low of the first candle and then the candle week high of the third candle now you can see we have a first candle a second and a third the candle week low of this candle and then the candle week high of this candle you can see we have our what imbalance here now price return and then field of this imbalance so mitigated this imbalance we no longer have inefficiency in price here because price here have been balanced price came into this imbalance and then balance itself so we have price here in equilibrium now we only have our imbalance resting here our own mitigated what imbalance resting here so you can see when price came into the supply zone price tapped into the supply zone we have a push to the downside but you can see this week the weak low here and then the weak high here we do not have what imbalance left here so meaning this price is an efficient price delivery price is balanced because you can see this week pushed to the upside and then mitigated the low of this week so now you can also see now price came fill up this imbalance and then we have push to the downside now you can see that what this week also pushed to the upside and then mitigated this week low so we have a price filled up here price here is what balance but now we have a movement to the downside you can see this week low and then the third candle week high we have our what's imbalance left here we have what's our imbalance left here a space in the market as a result of the magnitude of supply resting here and also price return to fill up the orders here, and then you have this push to the downside now let's also check the next image you're seeing in the charts you can see here we have price pushed to the downside price return mitigated the low of this candle week here price mitigated the low of this candle this is the high of the third candle we do not have inefficiency left here now you see we have the low of this candle and then the high of this candle we do not have inefficiency or what we call imbalance left here now you have this candle low and then this candle high we do not have what's imbalance left here so meaning this is actually an efficient price delivery we do not have imbalances left so meaning the price delivery here is actually balance price is in what equilibrium you can see sellers push price to the downside but buyers push price to the upside to mitigate this week to balance price we do not have imbalance in this particular price delivery so let's check the next image to also look at 
what we can actually say about imbalance in a different perspective also so looking at the charts here the third chart on our screen you would see that we have price movement to the downside price came into our supply zone and then we have our aggressive move to the downside we can see the low of this candle and the high of the candle we do not have imbalance here you can see the low of the candle and then the high of the candle we do not have imbalance here but now you can see the high of this candle is a protected high and also the low of this candle is actually a protected low so we do not have price pushing to the downside to rate this low and price pushing to the upside to rate this high meaning all this price movement we are seeing here is an inside movement within this bearish candlestick so meaning this candles are all a representation of this bearish candle move because the low is protected and also the high is protected so you would now see that we have the low of this candle here of our first candle here now this is the candle stick that actually took out the low of this candle so this is now the high of the candle so you see we have our first candle here our third can sorry we have our first candle here our second candle here and then we have our third candle here where is the high of the third candle this is the high where is the low of the first candle this is the low so meaning this is our fair value gap because this movement is within this particular bearish candlestick this is the concept of drop base drop in supply and demand because you would not see the rules that surrounds marking out an ideal order block here so let's also now check the next diagram to understand how to look and spot out inefficiency in the markets now you would now see from this chart example here you would see that we have price tapped into the supply zone here and now we are having our push to the downside the aggressive move to the downside you would see price left in balance here the low of the candle and the high of the candle the low of the candle and then the high of the candle and then you see price came mitigated this imbalance and also mitigated this imbalance so meaning we have a balanced price action here because price returned towards fill up the imbalances left here now you see price filled up this imbalance and then we have the push to the downside price left imbalance here the low of the candle and then the high of the candle we have what's imbalance here but you can see that the low of this candle and the high of this candle, we do not have what's in balance here. We have a balanced priced action here. This is where we have our imbalance. So we have the anticipation of coming to see that price will return into this imbalance and then possibly fall to the downside. So this is actually from a bearish um, directional bias. So let's check this other example that actually uses the perspective of the bullish directional bias. So you can see from this example here you can see that this candle actually this candle moved to the downside and then rated the low of this candle this candle rated the low of this candle here so meaning we would pay reference to this candle and not this candle because the low of this candle because the low of this candle have been rated have been violated by this move to the downside so our reference is this candle now this is the high of this candle and then this is the low of the candle so in a bullish condition you pay attention to the high of the first candle and then the low of the third candle so you can see this is where we have our imbalance here now price moved again further to the outside the high of the first candle and then the low of the third candle we have what are imbalance here but price returned to the downside and then you can see that price mitigated this imbalance price filled up that imbalance in the market so you would now see that this candle also rated the low of this candle this is the protected high but the low is no longer protected because the low have been broken by this week this movement to the downside so we would no longer pay attention to this candle but pay attention to this candle because this candle took out the low of this particular candle so meaning we we'll pay attention to the high of this candle and now this is the high of the candle and then now this is the low of our third candle making this our fair value gap we would not regard this candle because this candle is just an inside movement within this 
particular candle because the low of this candle is protected and the high is protected this is the candle that took out the high points of this candle so we pay attention to this candle high and then this candle low points and then this is our fair value gap in which we're anticipating to see price return to fill up the fair value gap and then possibly push to the upside so now we will check the real-time chart example to see how you can mark out your fair value gaps so before we look at before we look at how to mark out imbalances from the chart i would like you to take note of those rules when you're trying to mark out imbalances in the chart you must look out for imbalance in the direction of the trend and you must look out for imbalances before or within a break of structure zones because these are actually high probability imbalances and then you must look out for imbalance in confluence to optimum trade entry level so let's go to the charts to see how to mark out this imbalance you can see in this market condition here you are actually having a bearish market condition so you would see that we would see that price so you would see that price broke structure here so you notice the price broke structure here and then you can see that we have before the break of structure we have our imbalance resting above here you see we have our imbalance here from this candle low to the candle high because this is actually a bearish market condition so you see that is where we have our imbalance and then you can see that before or within the zone of the break of structure you also have an imbalance there so you see you mark her from the weak low to the weak high of the candle that took out the low of the second candle so you can see let's project this outward like this so you can see that we have price return to fill up the imbalance and then you can also see price again return to tap into the imbalance above before the break of structure you can see price return to the imbalance that is within the zone of the break of the what market structure and then you can now see also we have price now took out this low points here so we have another break of structure there so let's look out for the imbalance before the break of structure or within the zone of the broken structure now you would see that we have the imbalance resting here from this candle low to this candle high so let's project it outward you would see that in this particular imbalance you would see that when price came price returned tapped into the imbalance and then we have pushed to the downside that broke structure now you would see the now price came created a new low point here and then we have this pullback we have a break of structure here we have a break of structure here so we have our break of structure here and then where's our imbalance before the break of structure you see this is where we have our imbalance here and then you would see that what price return into the imbalance fill the imbalance and you can also see price went further to the upside when we drop to a lower time frame you would see that you have the possibility of having an order block resting here having a fair value gap so that is why you would see this price went to this extent to tap into the possible fair value gap in a lower time frame resting here and then you see price now drop to the downside we have a new break of structure here so we have price break structure here so where's our fair value gap before the break of structure you would see that we have our fair value gap here this is our fair value gap from the low of this candles week to the low of to the high of this candle so let's project this outward you would see that what price came went into it tapped into the fair value gap and then within the zone of the broken structure we have what our fair value gap again from the low of the candle week to the high of this candle week let's project this outward you would now see that when when price broke the structure you have what price return into the fair value gap so i said that what when there is insufficient trading balance in the market the price often comes back to fill out the orders that we are what left there were orders that were actually placed here to cause the move this aggressive move to the downside so you see price came back mitigated the imbalance and then dropped to the downside and then you can see that then we have and then you can see we have a break of structure here again price broke structure here where is our imbalance before the break of structure within the zone of the broken structure this is our imbalance before the break of structure this can do low and then this can do high points so you would see that what price broke structure you see price return mitigated the imbalance and then dropped to the downside and then what do we have we have what price 
broke structure again here so we have what price broke structure here again and then you see we have what our fair value gap before the broken structure above this is our fair value gap here the low of the first candle and then the high of the third candle so you can see this is our fair value gap resting here so you see price came mitigated it dropped to the downside and then you can also see price came into the fair value gap to fill it up completely price filled it up and then also dropped to the downside now you would see that when price dropped here we have this pullback and then we also have a, a break of structure here so we have a fair value gap resting before the break of structure here we have our fair value gap here and then we also have a fair value gap above this zone here we have a fair value gap here so you would see price broke structure to the downside price came to this fair value gap give us a little bearish reaction and then price went to the offside to fill up this fair value gap and then we see the push to the downside now this is the lower high that printed this lower low that broke this structure here we have a break of structure here now price came to the upside to cut that high point meaning we are having a change in market character here because this high point printed the recent low points that broke this structure so we have a change in market character here so we are going to start looking out for imbalances in the direction of a bullish trend so we see price push to the outside and then we have a break of structure here because this high point did not move to the downside to break this low point resting here so we have break of structure here and within the zone of the broken structure we have our fair value gap resting here you can see price came to the downside filled up the fair value gap and then price dropped further to fill up this fair value gap before the break of structure here's a fair value gap resting here so price should drop to the downside to fill up that fair value gap you can also see we have another fair value gap resting here you can see we have another fair value gap resting here price came to the downside reacted pushed up a little and then dropped down to fill up this fair value gap and then we have the push to the offside and then what can you see again price took out of this high point broke structure here so price broke structure here within the zone of the broken structure you can see we have our fair value gap here before the break of structure we have our fair value gap resting here you can see price return into the fair value gap and then mitigated the fair value gap we also have another fair value gap resting here we have another fair value gap resting here so you can see price broke the structure return mitigated and fill this fair value gap we have this fair value gap resting down here so you can now see price again went to the upside broke structure here in the future we are expecting price to come fill up this fair value gap so you would see that now price before the break of structure or within the zone of the broken structure we have our fair value gap resting here so you can see price return to fill up the fair value gap you can also see we have a fair value gap resting below here also so you see price broke structure price return to what mitigates this imbalance this fair value gap and then price push to the upside so this is how you mark out fair value gaps you mark out fair value gaps in the direction of the trend and then you look out for fair value gaps that are within um the zone of the broken structure or before the zone of the broken structure these are high probability imbalances and then you look out for imbalances in confluence to optimum trade entry level let's look at this particular return into this fair value gap let's use the fibonacci tool to look at the optimum trade entry level for this you can see that price return into a discount rate and then you see the push to the offside so from the example i actually showed us a form of marking out of a kind of um imbalance in the market so let me show you that imbalance i spotted one in the chart and then i would like to explain it to you guys you can see in this particular part of the chart you can see we have price to cut this high point we have a change in character there so we have our change in market character now you can see this bullish candle push to the upside this is the week of this bullish candle 
it was taken out by this candle now you can see that we have a bearish candle within this bullish candle the high of this bullish candle is protected and the low is protected meaning this bearish candle is just an inside movement within this bullish candle and then we have the movement of this candle and then we have the taking out of the high of this candle and also this high was taken out so meaning we have this candle to consider as the third candle so we have this candle so we have this candle to consider as our third candle and then you can see price return into the zone tapped into the zone and then you see we have a push to the upside you can see that this can be taken as a rally base rally now you can also see that same example here you can see this is the lowest candle the low is protected and the high is protected all these movements here are inside movement within this bearish candle meaning all these movements are just a representation of this particular bearish candle because the low is protected and also the high is protected but none the high was taken out by this candle week now you can see this candle body also took out this so we mark out the high and then the low of the third candle which is actually this candle so you can see price return into it tap into it and then you see we have price push to your side this is a form of candle that mansuri safari will call the double marabuzu candle stick so you can see price returned into it tapped into it and then pushed to the upside so this is how you mark out the forex institutional price imbalances in the market kindly like share and subscribe to our youtube channel as we bring more content your way cheers and god bless